This wanna be bad. Ah. Welcome to episode two of the Fashion Safe Space. Guys, we are jumping into my journey in finding my sense of style. <laughs> Basically, yeah, the guy, there was a guy that I thought was quite oh. delectable. I thought he was all right. I thought he was all right. But I remember when we kind of like first bumped into each other, he asked about my trainers. And he was like, where'd you get them from? But he was like mocking me a little. And then in that moment, I thought, is that why I've been single all this time? Oh. Is it because of trainer? You didn't know. No, which? So guys, these are the trainers that I love so much. They are Reeboks Classics on platforms. Um, I really love them, but I wear them everywhere. Anytime I leave my house and it's not needed for heels, it's not heels needed, it's not heels ready, it's not, heels are not part of the dress code, then I'll wear these. And I actually think they're quite nice, but then like my boy one time oh, for my birthday offered to buy me trainers and I just thought, oh yeah, my friends are just lit. Then like later on, he was like, no, nah, yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> Shout out OJ. <laughs> he said, Basically, I was like, I was like, yeah, no, nah, but these new trainers, they're gonna be the first ones I show you because I love them and I wear them black like, ridiculously. And I and <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, he looked at my we story. Know. Stop it! No, don't worry, we know. You don't have to tell us where they He said <laughs> he said he looked at my story and that he saw them and he was like, oh yeah, Quay got new trainers. <laughs> I said, what? Is it like that? Mm. Nah, it's not that deep. Is it that deep? Oh, deep. Oh. <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> like, yeah, so apparently it's deep in it, so we move in it. Uh, I just thought no one clocked it because I always feel like every time I wore these, was I wore them so well. Like, I wore them. <laughs> I wore them with um, Ross Cart flares. I thought that bands because of the height. hiding the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I wore them with like like shorts. I wore them in the beach because of sand, yeah. The beach! The very first, I'm gonna put this down because at this point, this doesn't make sense. All right, so the first pair of trainers are a pair of Nikes, Nike Nikes, Nikes. Um, I've showed these to you in the last haul actually. The um, there's Rice at Home haul. Please go watch it. Um, but yeah, they're these, and guys, I absolutely love them, love them, love them, love them. I've worn them. They have replaced my Reebok Classic High ones. They sold out at the women's. I went to loads of different stores, couldn't find them. And then they were available in the men's. And if you don't know, you know, ka -ching, like it cost more. But I was just like, no, I really like these for some reason. I'm drawn to them, even though I was told not to buy them. But this is the fashion safe space. We don't care. No one asked. Thank you. I love these. I wear them everywhere. They are comfortable. Yeah. Out of like, I would give these like a seven out of ten because ten out of ten you want to like be buried in them. But these are like, they're just so comfortable. I think they look really, really good, and they glow in the dark. Oh, like I think there needs to be a little bit of light. But, Stupid. Yeah. No, Dad. Is there something wrong with me? No, brother. Friend? No. So yeah, I just think they're quite. Oh. I'm not even going to talk about them anymore. Yes, yeah, so Air Max 97s, and I'm sure they glow in the dark because I remember it surprising me when it happened. <sighs> As a South London gal, from London, the UK, the London, the UK. Guys, as a girl from South London, I am shocked, appalled, blastomized. I really hope I didn't just curse myself. Um, by the fact that I've never actually had a pair of these before, but Air Force Ones. Literally never had a pair of them. All right. Do you know? All right. Let me talk to you real quick. To me, Air Force Ones are like dating a good-looking guy with no personality. Like, cool. They look good. Everybody recognizes it and that. 
but you can't have any life experiences with them like they're too sensitive like they don't know how to banter they don't know how to roll with the punches how are you wearing trainers but you're not allowed to crease them um so yeah i love these i did not get the all whites because you know that was just a safe option and i didn't want to go to the safe option um i'm committed to buying what i really want do you know what i mean do you get that like are you connected with me like, what i really want that's what that's what we're on here yeah so um <laughs> yeah like, i love this and also this shade of green as you can see like i'm in love with i'm just in love with it green maybe one of my favorite colors so yeah i'm absolutely in love with it and i think she looks really really good so let me just try it on with a quick outfit for you guys back in one second <clears throat> oh gosh guys these are so these are my first time actually trying them on these are really really comfortable i don't understand how you won't crease in them but yes yes she's our friend she's definitely our friend this probably wouldn't be how i style it but i just thought i want to look cute right now so i did this that's not true i thought the outfit would actually bang but i'm not in love with it but you know what it is what it is let's get back to the trainers so yeah no i do like them they're really comfortable i don't understand how you can't crease them you gotta walk like you gotta walk like that i just feel like whatever you're trying to achieve is this nullifies it but anyway um i did see something on instagram like crease protected like something you put in your shoe but if you have to buy excess like do you know they're really comfortable so i would give these a six out of ten like i just feel like something that's really high maintenance can never be a ten out of ten is that am i being deep anyway but um yeah so i do like them i don't like i'm not crazy and a part of why i bought them was because they're just air force ones and i just wanted that guys i'm not gonna lie to you it's not about the trainers today i just wanted to get a little bit more comfortable just me and you do you know Okay, get out. I could never have an OnlyFans account, can I? Ugh. Where are my seduction skills? And then these bad boys, these are the Osbeegees. I actually bought these originally in like a beige colour, but they just looked really huge on my foot. And then I needed them, I was going on radio, shout out leak. I was going on radio and I just needed something. So I just went out and bought these and I needed them to be all white. And I don't, for some reason, these just didn't feel huge to me. So I actually do really, really like these. I do really, really like these. Um, let's try them on. You see what trainers do, yeah? And what casual outfits do, yeah? They're like very, like, I woke up like this. And they're very suggestive of little effort. It's just suggest this is just how she is. It's very easy for her to look like this. Do you know what I mean? And so now I understand why my previous trainer decisions. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. No, I like it. I like her. And mate, she's so comfortable, so comfortable. So I would definitely give these a 6.75, but let me explain. I'll give these a 6.75 because they are really comfortable but they also feel very light like very if i was being chased on a mission to save the world these wouldn't withstand do you know what i mean and that's really important things to consider when buying trainers all right what's your lot's favorite um brand of trainers because i'm just gonna say from now these are 8.5 these are these are 8.5 these are 8.5 <laughs> Yo, these are, these are just so my vibe. It's just, it's interesting. Do you know what I mean? It's something that I'm buying because I genuinely just think, not, not because of any established societal norms, but because these are actually quite beautiful in my opinion. Um, and also, the name of the trainers, give me a second. These bad boys are called Future Rider Play On. Do you see the confidence in the name? They just got a bunch of words from Scrabble and just put it together. Future Rider Play On. Oh, the comfort. <sighs> the comfort. The comfort. Oh. Am I even walking? Am I even walking right now? What? Oh. These, I would wear these with jeans. I think that was part of the reason why I went with blue anyway. Like, I would wear them with jeans. Like, oh, the comfort. Pumas are on a roll. Like, do you know what it is to be overachieving? These are, like, okay. So, these are absolutely clearly, for me, a seven. Um, look at this colorway. This colorway is disrespectful. 
this colorway says i don't respect your crayon box this is what i'm coming with i love it i love it so much what the blues and the grays and the beige are oh. and i really feel like that's the point of trainers they they are just such a canvas for color so anyway let me try these on love them so yeah i've shown you all the name brand trainers so i'm going to show you guys the high street trainers now as well because i feel like with them they're a lot more playful the negative side is that i feel like in terms of color and they're not looking tacky you're a little bit restricted to like there are some options but to like white they are very good at chunky um a lot less winning in other types of trainers but they are cheaper and for shoes you're not actually physically going to be running in makes sense so right, let's jump in so yeah some some white trainers right yeah but who's in the woods today i know i know i know it, it's cute like i just thought these are cute these are cute and they're just like oh do you know what I mean? Like, I just think they're cute. And I feel like if you were to get like some custom made Ross Clark somethings in the 95s or whatever, it would be like costing the arm and leg for them to print a teddy on it or, or sell out in three seconds or whatever. But these, I just think are really nice. So yeah, anyway, I don't know where I'd wear them to, but I'd be none of this is essential, innit? This is all for fun. You don't need to, do you remember this song? I don't know if I can play it or not, but. I feel like every Channel U artist loves the little kid in their songs. I don't know why. That is. Time for the pick pick. Guys, I'm annoyed because these look cute. I'm gonna show you in a second, but you can't rob a bank in these. Then there's no grip. But anyway, let me show you. But they're cute. Can you guys see the little teddy bears? You see the teddy, you see the teddy, yeah, there we go, all up in there. These bad boys here, like they're crispy, crispy white. I don't know, something about non-brand trainers just feel f more plasticky, but there's grip. I don't know, they do feel light, but I just, I like all the details, so let's just, because you're not going to see the detail from all the way back there. These are like sold for me. Like I haven't tried them once, I'm gonna try them on now. But just based on look, I would give it a solid. Like listen, if this was name brand, I would give it like an eight, no questions. So I'm gonna give it an eight, no questions. Guys, I really, really like these. Really, really like these. I like how bulky they are. And yeah, they're cute. They're cute, they're cute. Mm these just prove to me like air force ones in all white they're just they're just not necessary because there's so many other like colorful i said colorful but like not colorful in color colorful in like structure so structureful wow take my passport um but yeah yeah i like these i really do like these high street trainers do color as well um i know i showed you a lot of white but i wanted to show trainers that i would genuinely bribe bribe buy <sighs> genuinely buy um and a lot of the other like the other colorful ones or different kind of shapes weren't really working for me but this one i, I saw a bit of hope i would give it a 4.5 that is not bad because remember 10 out of 10 means you want to be buried in them in it 5.5 i'll give it a 5.5 because i like the boldness of the color they are comfortable enough they obviously are a little bit more affordable but in real life, I probably wouldn't wear it with these purple trainers. I probably would wear them with white ones. Um, but no, they're fun. They're fun. They're fun. I'm not convinced by them in it, so I think they're going back home, but they're fun. But yeah. Anyway, last ones. Now, these last ones, I did a major faux pas. A faux pas. Um, what, what did they remind you guys of? Hold on. Let's get the, the, the saturation. Yeah. The reason why these are faux pas because if you're gonna buy high street trainers, buy them for them. Like that way, you, you just avoid all the the unnecessary wahala. Do you know what I mean? Just buy them for them. But I'm gonna try these on. I actually think I already did, and I was like, what? But let's just try. And also, guys, the reason, another reason why I bought them, they were like 19.99, 20 pounds. Can you tell the difference? Definitely gonna wear these with white trainers because it just overall it just looks smooth. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. 
guys that is the end in fact let me give you guys a proper end to that section if you can't love me at my Reebok Classic high platforms, then you don't deserve me at my Oswegis with this fit.